to imagine today boarding a train and then being seated according to your race. You know, so many today can't imagine this type of segregation that older Americans endured daily during the Jim Crow era. Our Tina Terry learned a local museum will now spend a quarter of a million dollars refurbishing a Jim Crow train car, bringing those stories to life for those who have no idea what it was like. This is the seating section for white passengers on this car. Tyler Trahan giving me a tour of a train built long before either of us were born, designed to transport Americans and separate them solely based on their race. This is the only um, sort of room on the train that black, black passengers would have been uh, allowed to ride in. Southern Railway car 1211 was built in 1928 during a time when Jim Crow law ruled. The accommodations were supposed to be separate but equal, but Livingstone historian Detarvia Parrish says that most often wasn't the case. This whole Jim Crow era, what it actually did in the end was produce second class citizens. And that's pretty much what African Americans were, were fighting for, first class citizenship. It was the conductor's um, responsibility to figure out what race a person was. If they said a passenger was black, the passenger said they were white, the, the conductor would tell them move or I'll stop the train and have you arrested. North Carolina's Transportation Museum just received a quarter of a million dollar grant from the National Park Service to renovate the train car and bring its story to life in hopes of educating those who can only imagine what it was like. Segregated train cars were a big part of North Carolina's history. This is a, a really good tool for telling that story. In Rowan County, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now there is a similar train car on display at the African American Museum of History in Washington, D.C. The Transportation Museum is hoping to wrap up its renovations by early next year.